All right, hello everyone, and welcome to. I don't think I'm gonna title this Protocol Cheese because I've I've lost parts. Also, it's gotten old. All right, I'm I'm past Protocol Cheese, but this is essentially gonna be another Luge Thoughts Protocol Cheese video. That's that's essentially what it's gonna be. Um, so what I want to talk about in this video was like separate enough from the recap. I was gonna include it in the recap, and then the recap got too long, and then with not including this, the recap was already almost like 20 minutes. Um, because of the changes for St. Pete, you know, I had to get through all that in the recap. So I didn't want the recap to end up being too long. So I wanted to put this in a separate video and I think it deserves its own video anyways. So what I want to talk about in this video is like going forward, like past Indie Hog. So when it comes to announcing, I, I do like announcing the next series how he did it in Rallycross, how he did it in the middle of the season and got everything like set and prepared and started making plans and got people on board with it and different people like forging and making tracks and working on stuff. Um, I, I I liked that. Now, I will say right now though, that for Indie Hog, that probably won't happen as aggressively as it did with Rallycross. And what I mean by that is I do want to announce what we're doing next before Indie Hog is over, but I don't want to do it like Rallycross where it was like, it felt like it was so early in the schedule. I want Indie Hog, like we, I did the whole video series, I did the Road to Indie Hog thing. This is a big time coming, or long time coming, I should say, um, series. Big series though, that we want to do for a long time and finally getting to do it is cool. And obviously there's been a lot of work put into this from my end and from everybody else's end as well. A lot of people, put so many different, this is the most like forger variety that we've had since DSS probably. Different tracks and you know, all of us behind the scenes putting in work to make the season work too, stuff like that. So um, I had, had the whole video series for it. Like I just want Indie Hog to breathe, right? I want to let it breathe. I want to, now that I've done the hype video series on it, now that we're three rounds, which is insane, three rounds into like, what the hell? I want Indie Hog to breathe for a little bit and just be its own thing and just let it be its series and just let it have its time. You know what I mean? I don't four or five rounds into it. I don't want to be like, oh, this is what we're doing next. And then, you know, I don't I don't want to do that. I feel like that takes away from it a little bit. So I do want to announce what we're doing next. Before the end of the year, before the end of the season, and I do want to do it in a cool way, um, but I don't want to do it crazy early because of what I just said and because how Indie Hog goes matters. So the, the annoying part of this video is I'm gonna have to be a little bit cryptic, but I've been I've been trying to come up with ideas and, and narrow things down and basically what I've been trying to do for honestly past few months, obviously, even with thinking about Indie Hog and stuff, but just like when I have free time, trying to figure out like, okay, what could we do next year series wise? Cause again, like the whole reason why I came back it all comes back to fucking infinite. The whole reason why I came back in 2022 even, like I know it probably a lot of people maybe misremember it or maybe don't remember this properly or maybe I didn't say it properly, but I imagine a lot of people would think about like the H5 return and giving H5 the proper send off. That honestly wasn't it, um, genuinely. The reason, the main reason why I came back was for the future potential with infinite. That was it. And the H5 throw throwback was more of a convenient like, oh, we have to wait on Forge and Infinite. H5 didn't really get that good of a send off for how much time we put into it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and then that'll fill the void until we get Infinite, right? That's what it was. And then, so that was that. And then obviously um, the H5, we did we did end up doing a good amount of races on it, but we hit a certain point where it was like, okay, this doesn't need to be a year long. The, the, idea, was, the idea was cool and it was ambitious, um, but it didn't need to be a year long. And so, you know, scrapped that, adjusted that, still ended up with something, and then moved on from Halo 5. And then we did all the different things that we did, right? We did all these different series. It was a lot of, a, uh, it was a lot of series of going back to HRL's roots, right? On the Sundays, we had the TRS and the World of Outlaw series, which were going back to our roots and getting to do another one of those, which I've wanted to do for a long time. That was cool. And then, um, you know, we got to do that Firestone Firehawk that fits in that same group. That was awesome. And then we did DSS, which is a little bit different. And then we got to do the reach throwback, which I wanted to do for a long time. So we did all that stuff, right? And we did cool things, filled the void, and then we got to infinite. Um, maybe maybe that's what I could call this episode, story time with Luch or something, I don't know. Um, did the thing with infinite, and then we get to infinite, and obviously it's just not, 
It's just not there, right? I I can't. Im I Man, if I could go like time machine to myself like five years in the past and just I I would be shocked. You know what I mean? Like five six years in the past, me would be shocked that like we wouldn't be racing on infinite, but like the the reason why is what would shock me. You know what I mean? Like the lag, the new lag issue, and it being that bad, like that would shock me. But that's how it is. Um, the lag issue is that bad. If we, if we kept racing on it with go-kart, I genuinely think we would have ended up with like four people showing up. I genuinely think so because it just, and I wouldn't have blamed anybody because it was bad. Like it was not good. Um, so, so yeah, just like infinite, the way that we wanted, wanted infinite in the way that we wanted to do it just did not work out. And I don't know if it'll ever be fixed, right? You know, I've been saying this on these protocol cheese videos and these update videos throughout the year. I've been saying it about checking out the updates, and I just want to say, in case anybody was wondering, I I have been, okay? I know I, in the videos I probably said, like, oh, we'll get a lobby together, but the thing is, I think I've done it with Armada every time. Just testing with him, just with one other person, it's never been, it's never felt better. Um, I, I worded that wrong. Not a single time that we've tried it has it felt any better. That's what I'm, okay, because the way I worded it kind of made it sound like it, you can almost interpret that the wrong way, but yeah, but like, Every time that we've tested it with every new update this year that I've done it with Armada, it has not felt, there has not been any improvement. There's not been any improvement. If there's not been any improvement with just me with one other person, it's not going to get any better with six people in the lobby. It's not going to get any better with 10 people in the lobby. It's not going to get any better with 16 people in the lobby. You know what I mean? That's not going to help. So that's the reason why I haven't done the public lobby tests like I said I was going to do. Because just do it with one person, it's not good enough. It's not going to get better with more people. So it's just a waste of everybody's time. Um, but I will keep doing it. The, the newest infinite update is, shit, I don't know how close it is off the top of my head. It's sometime in October, I want to say. It's sometime in October, we're getting the newest season update in a while, and it'll probably be the last, or it, I'm sure it'll be the last season update until 2024. So the last hope of us starting, even starting to forge anything on infinite is going to be here in 2023. It's going to be when this new update comes out in two to three-ish weeks off the top of my head. I don't remember. It'll come out. I'll test it, and we'll see. We'll see. Um, but again, it's just, I don't think it's just going to happen at this point. I really don't. Um, I've started to tweet at uh, 343 people. I'm going to see if I can figure out something email-wise, because I would just like a word. That's all I want. Like, I just want, if, if, if we were just said, like, oh, this isn't a priority. We're not working on this right now. That's all I want. Seriously. That's all I want. Um, you know, I don't want to hear, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be fixed. I just want the truth so that we can move on like if that's the case oh if it's like oh we're working on this and we're gonna we're aiming for season six then i'm like oh shit well maybe next year we can try again or if it's like oh this isn't a priority in the team and we're not focusing on this right now then i'm like well i can just move that part of my brain right that little bit of hope just take that out and move on so if i get any update on my on my quest there i'll make a video on it and i'll share that so i just want to say that if I, if I do get any update i have not yet um, but if I do get anything, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. I'll share it. Okay, so yeah, so that's the whole infinite thing. So, basically, the whole problem this year has been like, okay, well, what do we do, right? This whole year has been kind of figuring that out and also trying to figure it out for the future because I thought infinite was the future. But now, I'm getting to the point, well, I mean, I've kind of been at the point where I'm, ex I've, have accepted that, like, well, it's not. Like, it's just, I think it's just fucked. I think it's just fucked and that's just how it is. Like it's it's sad because the forge has so much potential. I think we can all agree on that, right? Like what we could do forge wise with the next game, incredible. Or with infinite, sorry, incredible. Incredible. Um but the vehicles honestly, I, I get it about the vehicles, but the vehicles not being the best physics wise, I don't even think is that big of a deal. Like I I think that for certain series they would work. And I think that the game having as crazy of a forge that it does, I think would make up for that. And I, th I think we could still have cool racing experiences on the game, despite the vehicle shortcomings, because of how good the forge is. Um, so that's kind of how I feel on that part of it. Um, but yeah, it, it's just it's just sad because, well, it, it's a multi thing, right? Like even if it does get fixed, it's not going to be amazing because of the vehicle physics. But at least we'll get to make some amazing things. Um, but again, I just, there's so much potential in the Forge to make awesome stuff 
uh, just purely from a Forge perspective that we've always dreamed of being able to do. Like, just crazy stuff. Like, imagine the track that you're watching in the background right now, Barber, but fully complete. Not with these edges of the map and these clear edges right now, right here on this straightaway where I ran out of objects and have this fully filled in and have a forest over there and have the parking area by the pits and, you know, it'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. Um, but we may not see that with Infinite, right? Who knows if we're even going to see it with another Halo game? Infinite's been in such dire straits, who even knows if we're going to see it with another Halo game? It is sad. It's sad, but it's the reality, right? And what I'm getting at with all this shit is, you know, trying to figure out, well, what do we do now? Because that was my idea, right? That was the whole point of this backstory. Like, that was my reason for coming back was, um, you know, potential with Infinite. And now now that we don't have that, it's like, well, now what the fuck do we do? Um, I like the hog stuff. I don't want to just do the hog stuff. So I'll say that for people that want to mix things up right there. I like the hog stuff. I want to keep doing the hog stuff. Absolutely. It's giving me, you know, a reason to keep forging and making new things. But I don't, I, that doesn't mean that we're only going to do hog stuff from here on out. Yes, on Fridays after Infinite, we have only done hog stuff this year. But even this year, we, before the Sunday stuff got canceled, we did a lot of goose racing there. We were literally starting doing goose racing on, on uh, Infinite before it got cheesed. It's not like a, oh, my allegiance has completely shifted to the hot, you know what I mean? Like, it's just that there's new stuff to make here, and that's exciting, and I think they're good. Um, but don't let, you know, all of this year's series after Infinite got cheesed on, on Fridays being hog stuff, don't let that think make you think like, oh, we're just only gonna do hog stuff now, because that's not the case. Um, so without fully giving it away, I'll share a little bit of the point of this video. So for next year, I've been working on ideas, and my whole I my whole goal with the ideas is I, I was trying to do certain things. So I thought a cool idea for a year layout for HRL for Fridays is have four series across a year. One of them being like Indie Hog, or like we've discussed with Hog F1. One of them being like a real-life imitation series. I think it'd be cool to do one of those every year. I think it'd be cool to do a main series every year. I think it'd be cool to do... And, th and then I think it'd be cool to do two other series in between. One of them could be... One of them could be like an experimental type of series, and then the other one could be something that's like HRL tie-in, if that makes sense. So I think those are good... I think those are good themes for series. I think four is a good amount of series and I think those are good like guidelines to follow so I've followed those for coming up with series for next year that I think will offer something for everybody because I think I think there's people that like this stuff like Indie Hog with the real life imitation I think there's people that like the experimental stuff I think there's people that like the HRL roots stuff and I think there's people that like the I think I think everybody likes the main series so that was my goal, is I want to hit something with those schedules that'll... There'll, there'll be... Everything is not going to please everybody, but there will be something somewhere that will be for everybody. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. That's that's what I try to do. Um, and I'll say it now, again, without because I don't want to give away too much. I think the, the Real Life Imitation series will probably be Hog only. But... For the two series, for the HRL Roots one and then for the Experimental one, I think for those, one of those will be a Goose only, one of those will be a split, like we did with Firestone Firehawk, because I, I think that Firestone Firehawk split season was kind of underrated that we did last year. I think that was a really cool concept, and I, I just want to do it again. I think it was a cool concept. I'd really like to do it again. Um, so yeah, so the Real Life Imitation series will likely be Hog only. The Experimental one will be split. And then the HRL Roots one will be, as you'd imagine, right? Gooses. So we won't just be doing hogs next year. It'll probably still be like a majority hogs, but there will be plenty of goose stuff in there too. And it'll be it'll be good shit. Um And we'll do a main series as well. So for this year, my I wanna do at least one main series a year. And maybe once we start to, again, like if Infinite never works out, we don't get to do those cool things and we start to have explored most of the ideas that we wanted to explore, maybe we'll get to a point where we could do like two main series a year, like one at the beginning, one at the end. I think that'd be a good point to hit. That probably will not happen next year. But I could see that if we're still racing. I could see that happening in 2025. I could see that. 
I could see that happening at that point. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I could see that by then. But for next year, we definitely want to do one, and that was the plan for this year as well, which was hinted at with the Mirror Bills Track Countdown video for, you know, all this infinite stuff to build up to the infinite main series, first main series on infinite with the return at the end, but obviously that didn't work out. So this series here, Indie Hog, is kind of a combination, like, compromise, right? It's This is kind of the main series of this year, but it's also the real-life thing, too. Because Indie Hog, I mean, it kind of fits, and, and a lot of people don't know, like, Halo 5 main series season 1 wasn't like the other ones. Like, it, this Indie Hog is kind of similar to it, honestly. A Halo 5 main series season 1 was mostly GP and go-kart with like a couple ovals and like a couple supercross sprinkled in. It wasn't that many. It was not an even balance. It was mostly GP and go-kart. So it, it kind of reminds me of Indie Hog. Where Indie Hog is mostly going to be road racing with the with the with the with the GPs and the street courses, but then we've got a decent amount of ovals thrown in too. Um again, in in, in Halo 5 main series season 1, it was uh it was uh the ovals and the supercrosses mixed in. So so yeah, so th that's that's the idea. Even though this is not technically a main series, this 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 one kind of fits both bills for those ideas. But for next year, expect the different series types that I mentioned and a main series. We will see those return for next year. Um, when will I announce this stuff? I I want Indie Hog to breathe. So yeah, when. I would say probably the, I think it'd be, I want time to do a cool reveal as well. And I want time to Indie Hog, for Indie Hog to breathe. And I want to see how Indie Hog goes before fully deciding. Cause again, I'm pretty set on what series we'll do next year. I'm just not really set on the order. So I would say, I know this is really early, but expect a reveal on what we'll do next year on the final race night, either before we start or after we finish on the final race night of Indie Hog. That's probably when I'll do it. And it'll, it'll be a full reveal too. So it'll be worth the wait. Um, and I like I like announcing in the season, right? But also you have to understand it's the winter break. So announcing a little bit later than we did with Rallycross, I don't think is that big of a deal because there's a whole ass month, right? There's an there's a whole extra month of time off. So I, I don't think it's as big of a deal. I, I kind of want Indie Hog. It's, it's this year's send off, right? I want it to we, we had this whole video series like I want it to breathe. I want Indie Hog to have its moment. And then right on that last race night, either before we start or after we finish, I'll make a video and I'll do a whole reveal. A whole reveal. Um, because hopefully by then we'll have decided upon the order. Because again, I feel really good about these series. It's just, should we do this first? Should we do that? Kind of trying to figure that out. What what do I think would work the best? Um, that being said, you guys are going to like these ideas. And especially for one of them, you know, go back and rewatch the final Indie Hog video if you want to... The, the teasers hint pretty strongly at what it is, but you might have to do some detective work to really figure it out. Um, I think that about sums it up for this video, though. But yeah, that, I mean, I just wanted to talk about, like, go through the whole thing and, you know, what has happened and, like, what the deal is, I guess, with stuff and, and you know, be transparent on that. And just say that there is shit being planned for next year. It's really cool. It's going to be a variety of stuff. There'll be hog stuff. There'll be goose stuff. I think there'll be something for everybody throughout. Um, and uh, we'll still, I'll still mess around with Infinite when it gets updated. But I just don't have any, uh, you know, hope for it. Um, but uh, but yeah. So for people that you know, I think the biggest announcement here is that for people that want some main series action, we're going to get it. We're absolutely going to get it. It's basically me just deciding on where I want it to go in the year. Because I want it to be a pretty cool, too. Um, but, we, yeah, we've reached the point where if I keep talking, it's going to be too... I don't want to reveal too much. So, I've revealed what I wanted to reveal. I've said what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. hope this was insightful. And, you know, as always, comments are open for whatever. Um, because this is an off the dome video and I like I said in the recap I, I recorded this and then I had I ended up re-recording and splitting this into two So it's kind of confusing for me too because I was getting like deja vu. I was getting like deja vu I'm like did I already talk about this wait I talked about this in the other video did I talk about it in this video shit am I repeating myself? So if I did that sorry um, Yeah, the, the way that I recorded all this it kind of messed up my brain. So 
But I hope that was insightful. Hope that gives some some hope for the future on top of like what we're doing with Indie Hog. Hope it gives you something to look forward to as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you Friday for some awesome action at St. Pete. Later.